Late last night, the Israeli cabinet approved a deal to secure the release of 50 hostages held by Hamas, including Americans. This deal comes in exchange for 150 Israeli held Palestinian prisoners. NBC's Bree Jackson is in Washington with the details. Bree, the White House played a role in securing this deal. The deal comes after weeks of closely guarded negotiations in Qatar, which, along with the United States and Egypt, has acted as a broker between the two sides. A senior Biden administration official confirms to NBC News that the White House spent weeks working on this hostage deal. The agreement breaks down like this. Hamas will release 50 hostages, mostly women and children, in exchange for 150 Palestinian women and children held in Israeli prisons. There will be a four-day pause in fighting, and hostages would be released in stages. The truth, truce will allow much-needed humanitarian aid to reach Gazan civilians and could be extended if Hamas decides to release more hostages. In a statement, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said he spoke with President Biden and asked for his intervention in hostage negotiations. President Biden thanked the leaders of Qatar and Egypt for their, quote, critical partnership in reaching this deal. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu said the deal also includes Red Cross visits and medicine for the nearly 200 remaining hostages. A senior Biden administration official said three Americans could be part of the first group of hostages released. That includes two adults and a three-year-old girl named Abigail. Back to you.